guys, what's up? It's Raven. For today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I have decided that I'm gonna let my mom and my little sister decorate one of the rooms in my house without my involvement. They get full control and I can't tell them what to do. I can't say no, I can't say yes, I can't do anything. I'm gonna let them do the whole thing. Now, the reason for this is that this is the room that they mostly work out of, so they're gonna be doing the mail room, assistant office, whatever you wanna call this little extra room. Basically, this room is theirs. They're the ones who are using it, so I was like, why not just let them decorate it? So we got Maya and my mom here. We are getting ready to go shop for some stuff, or they're gonna shop for the stuff. I'm just kind of along to help film, and you know, I can't say anything. I'm not gonna be controlling, but they are gonna be shopping for some stuff right now. They are just like taking measurements, getting an idea of what they wanna do. Zaya is here. Are you helping? Are you gonna help them decorate this room? So I don't know what they're measuring for. Y'all planning on a... Uh, well, we have to Doing some built-ins? <laughs> what you measuring? Tell me, you know, like how big the art needs to be for this. If I want to put some art right here, right here. If I want to put something on the window. A chair. Measure for the chair. Ooh, shelves. Oh, the shelves. Um, okay. Maya's got this app on her phone where she has uh, taken the measurements, most of the measurements I've taken, and she's made like a 3D rendering so that we'll have everything done. What app is that? Magic Plan. Magic Plan? Oh, wow. Okay, y'all doing a full... I thought we were just gonna be, you know. There's a few things in here already. There's this gold lamp, which was just, you know, left over from the old house, and then there's that little basket thing that y'all saw that I bought um, in one of my home decor hauls. And I just thought it would go nicely in here. So that's kind of where I started with this thing. You really don't have to keep any of the stuff that's in here except for, I would like you to keep that basket because well, I just yeah, bought I it. Like the style. I think the basket goes with the style that I'm thinking of. I just don't know if there's a place for it. We are headed to World Market first and then my mom says she want to go to Target, at home, probably Office Depot, Home Goods. Probably just gonna go to every store in the world today. But I have decided that I'm going to give them a $500 budget because if I don't give them a budget, I don't want them to just go crazy in the store. So I think $500 is good enough because I know they have to actually get like a nice office chair and like shelves and stuff like that. So y'all have to do it for $500. That's good. And remember, you gotta do the mail stuff. You gotta do the office stuff. Make it cute, make it functional. Got it. You got a $500 budget. No, I'm gonna add it up. So this was the chair that I thought I wanted because it was definitely on sale. Mm, that looks uncomfortable. It, do, it does, and it's not. And it's all chipped up. And it is not comfortable. That looks very uncomfortable. Or we could like get something colorful like this one. Oh, green? Yeah. Interesting. I mean, it's the same price. Mmm, green. Oh. Or there's also this one. I mean, not that I'm supposed to be giving my input, but. Yeah, that one just feels. I really, I'm really liking this green one. Do you like it? Yes. <laughs> okay, Maya likes That's the green chair. The green chair is over $200. Okay, Next up, at home. Look. Ooh, I like it. There'll always be time for wine in your office. <laughs> okay, artwork. Major pieces first. 
Just a little paint. And oh my <laughs> <laughs> See, you're forced to get creative when you have a budget. Because if I didn't have a budget, I'd just be like, willy nilly. What y'all doing over here? Okay, we gotta go help Grammy. A lot of the offices that have the vintage look or the, the industrial look have these clocks. Something like this. That's what I originally thought I would put there. I bet you This is really like getting into like expensive. steampunk. Yeah, but I was thinking of something like that, like black, but this looks a little... Hmm. This one? It was this, but then that's looking like too many browns and it's like mostly darker, like a bronze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of making me feel funny, but you know what really makes me happy? This one? Really happy. This one. No, close though. <laughs> Is it a cat? This a llama? One. And it's green, it's got the green in it. Do you like it? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> so it's the color scheme is like gray, green, bronzy black. Oil rubbed bronze. Oil rubbed bronze. I think that space can be kind of drab, so that kind of brightens it up a little bit. I think I want some llamas to go on the shelves that I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna get a medium one. So we've now turned this office from industrial theme to llama theme. <laughs> <laughs> industrial llama. An industrial llama office slash mailroom. <laughs> Alright, lunch break. Y'all already worn out. Nope. Ain't I barely did fresh, nothing. And I am ready to finish up this job in the next hour after we finish lunch. It will take us about an hour to finish shopping and then the real fun. You got some installation to do. All right, so we are at Hobby Lobby now. They're looking at shelving. Last stop is Target. Hopefully this is the last stop. Because we getting tired. $26.99 for a... Uh, there's 12 of them, that's less than $5 a piece and they're usually like five or six dollars a piece. So when we left Hobby Lobby, I had about $50 left on my budget and so we bought a couple things at Target. How much was that? Target your total was $46.23 <laughs> and $13 on this. So $46. You said it was $7. You lied. Okay it was $11.99. So you went over budget by no, like. No probably didn't because we weren't quite at $100 and how about So we'll do the uh, final calculation but uh. Because you're adding. Yeah. Okay. You're done. You're done, right? I'm done. Okay. Now it's time to actually do the room. All right. All right, so it is day two of working on this project. Maya and my mom are here because now it is time for them to actually put the room together. They've got some assembly to do, hanging stuff up, all that stuff. So I am going to step away. I'm gonna let them do it, and I'm not gonna look at it until they're done. So do you guys have a plan? Do you have everything you need? Yeah. Okay, well I'm gonna leave the camera with y'all and I'm gonna wait till you're done. Sounds good. What we need to do now is move everything out of this office so we can start bringing things in and getting them organized. So now we wanna hang this stuff on the walls. First the painting and then the uh, nail sorter here and the shelves over there.
was right here. It took two hours almost to get them up straight and in the right position with the right screws. Note to self, don't buy shells without hardware. We just need to reveal it to Raven, but she is filming, so we borrowed some of her food to make us some lunch because it's like two, three o'clock and we haven't eaten lunch yet. We're making one of her Hello Fresh meals, and it's beef tacos with pineapple. Raven! <laughs> Are you ready to see your new planning mail center area <laughs> assistant thingy? <laughs> yes. Okay, let me show you around. show you around how I think this office should function. Show you around this very large office. Yeah, because before we just had piles of junk everywhere, we were shoving things everywhere, and now we kind of have a system and everything's organized. So all of your mail goes here. Maya was kind enough to check your mailbox. This is to file, and this is just for miscellaneous. So we can figure out what we're going to put in that. So maybe it's just for free. And you made those labels on your Cricut machine. Yes, with the little I did. Golden copper vinyl, cute mm -hmm. touch. And uh, it's of course our beautiful llama picture. Yes. <laughs> It actually doesn't look <laughs> crazy. Like it really got it to the room. I love it. This this llama picture makes me happy. I it just makes me feel good when I walk in here. So then we have an in basket for to do. This is work that needs to be done. So you may recognize the lamp mm -hmm. that was in here before and it was brass, but I spray painted it. We have my beautiful eucalyptus sleeves, which I really like. Yeah, they look good. They look pretty real. These floating <laughs> shelves, these floating shelves. I like the way they look. What do you think? They look really good. I heard you guys struggling in here. Two hours. To screw them into the wall. Two hours to get these things screwed into the wall. Oh, and really um, so then put the little succulent on top and the llamas that I love that go along with the llama picture. And then we just felt like we needed something in the window. So we put a few little matching succulents. And over here are just some repurposed items that were already in here. And now I want to show you the functionality. So I already talked about the mail. Oh, and the chair. Oh, the this chair. chair. Don't you love it? I love the chair. I would have never, ever, ever in my life picked out a green chair, but it looks good. Oh, it feels good too. Oh, yes. It's it matches so nice. with everything. So you got so much storage in here that we didn't even have to use all the drawers. But in this drawer, this is our shipping drawer. So this is for mystery boxes. The, mystery um, Box Monday, make sure you're liking and commenting <laughs> so you can enter to win Mystery Box Monday. And right underneath that are mystery boxes. They're already stocked up and ready to go. This drawer is actually going to be empty, but that's one of the things that we don't oh, have yeah. yet because I'm going to actually get these installed in a day or so that you'll be able to see it in the final review. I'll program. insert a clip of how it looks with the actual knobs on the cabinets. Underneath here are, is your file system. You don't have a whole lot of paper files, but just so we can keep them organized. Um, I've used this um, wicker basket from Ikea to put your paper files in. So this drawer just has all the office supplies you need for uh, daily work. Staples, clips, pens, pencils. Even the paper clips are gold to match the aesthetic. I like it. Okay, in this drawer we have the filing supplies, labels, and your ink file folders. Underneath here is bubble wrap for shipping. This drawer holds paper and labels. And this whole area over here are PR packages. So some of them we've taken out of the big bulky boxes just so that it'll fit in the cabinet. 
And this drawer is basically um, junk drawer. It's not junk. It's all the stuff that I need to organize for the house. I'm gonna put it in this um, accordion file. But uh, there's some things stacked up under there that I need to put in there. And that's it. What do you think? It looks good. I'm very impressed with your styling, like specifically this, you know, the styled parts of it, the cute parts, and it is functional and it's clean and it's minimal. Obviously this is not a big room, so you don't want it to look like cluttered and junky because then it's gonna feel super claustrophobic super easily. So I think like the fresh color palette of the green and the white and the gray looks good. Oh yeah, I think you guys did a good job. So the challenge was organize and decorate this office for under $500. Oh yeah, how much it. did you spend? I spent $191. Oh, I was very close. Did you see that? No. Don't lie. Don't lie. I spent $491. Yeah. $491. And so. so I am under the $500 budget and that's with the I said bird. All right guys, so that is the finished mailroom office situation. I think my mom and my sister actually did a really, really good job doing this room. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think they did a good job? Is there anything you would add or change? But yeah, that's everything. Items will be linked down below for your convenience. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.